Hello lovelies, in this video I'm going to go through my predictions for Edexcel Chemistry Paper 2. Please remember, I am not an examiner, I have not seen the papers, I have no prior knowledge of what is in these papers, so please remember to revise absolutely everything. But I have come up with a list of topics I would like you to spend some time looking at just before the exam, and then if you want some questions on these topics, if you come across something you're not very sure about, um, I've written a predicted paper for you. And then to go with that, we have the walkthroughs of the predicted paper. So how to answer the questions, how to structure your answer, how to look at clues in the command words to point you towards what the examiners want you to do. So I'm going to start with them by then. And then I'm going to skip to separate science and you can use the timestamps in the description to jump to where you want to be. For chemistry, we have to remember that our core knowledge can come up in either paper. So we are looking at things like being able to balance equations, we're looking at what is the structure of an atom, we're looking at bonding, so covalent and ionic bonding. Confidence with the periodic table is essential in this because it could come up anywhere. There are a few other things outside of balancing equations that I would like you to look at. So one of the practicals that I like for this is your rates of practical. Now there are lots of different ways they could ask you to look at the rate of reaction. We know the practical you see in the exam paper probably won't be identical to the one that you've done in class. So we could be looking at collecting gas, we could be looking at loss of mass, we could be looking at a change in something, so change in colour, change in pH or change in turbidity, which is the cloudiness of it. So there are lots of different things we could look for in a rates practical, and you need to be confident with all of those. We also need to be confident with the theory behind it, so collision theory, kinetics, all of that. How does temperature affect this? How does pressure affect this? How does catalyst affect this? These are all really important topics for this paper. I'd like you to spend some time looking at hydrocarbons, so organic chemistry, drawing things, naming things, looking at the reactions of things, and then thinking about crude oil, we're thinking about fractional distillation, we're talking about cracking of things as well. So how can we take the, the crude oil, the mixture of hydrocarbons that comes from the ground, and turn it into something that is actually useful for us. And then after we've turned it into something that is actually useful, for example petrol, what happens in the combustion reaction of those hydrocarbons? So how can we take, you know, our hydrocarbon, burn it in something and then look at the, the gases, the pollutants that come out at the end? So looking at the products of combustion, looking at the polluting gases that come out of that, how can we test for those gases? And then how can we look at the effect that those gases are having on the atmosphere. So um, looking at greenhouse gases, the effects of greenhouse gases, looking at climate change and the impact and the future impact that that could have. So also thinking about the atmosphere, I'd like you to think about the early atmosphere and then the evolution of the atmosphere, how we started off as a planet, how we got to where we are today, and then linking that through to climate change and where we are going in the future. So I'd like you to look at your endothermic and your exothermic reactions, the reaction profiles for those, how a catalyst would affect all of those, um, and then being able to constantly draw and interpret those. I'd like you to look at your groups in the periodic table. So this is linking back to something I said at the start, but the patterns and the trends and the, the characteristics of the groups in the periodic table. So if you want to start a list of things to revise for your chemistry paper too, that is my list. But please remember to revise absolutely everything. So for your separate science for LXL chemistry paper two, we need to be confident in our core knowledge. So writing chemical formula, balancing equations, the structure of atoms, ionic and covalent bonding, because this is all thing that could come up in either paper. But a few things that are specific to paper two I'd like you to be confident with. So hydrocarbons, so naming hydrocarbons, drawing hydrocarbons, differences between alkanes and alkenes, and testing for all of those, including your carboxylic acid, esters, and then linking that through, continuing back to polymers. So monomers, polymerization, and um, can you confidently draw the single unit, and then the long unit as well? Can you name and draw your esters and your carboxylic acids. Don't forget, you don't need to be loads and loads, you don't need A-level depth knowledge for this, but there are a few listed that you do need to know. 
So continuing with hydrocarbons, I'd really like you to look at your crude oil, your fraction distillation and your cracking. So all of the processes involved in that. Why do we need to actually take crude oil and then do something to it before we can use it? And then when we are using it, say as something like petrol looking at combustion reactions. So um, all of the reactions that could happen here. So thinking about the products of combustion, thinking about the polluting gases that come out for that. How can we test for those gases? Um, thinking about the effect that those gases have on the atmosphere. So linking that through to the greenhouse gases, the greenhouse effect and climate change. And then when we are looking at the atmosphere, going right back from the very beginning, so from the early atmosphere, how we went from the early atmosphere to our present day atmosphere, and then looking at the effect that climate change is having on our present day atmosphere and things that could be happening in the future. So I'd like you to look at your rates practical. Now there are lots of different ways they could do a rates practical and the one you see in the exam might not look identical to the one that you've done in class. So all the different things we could change, so temperature, concentration, surface area, use for catalyst, and um, all of the different things that we could measure, so collecting gas volumes, um, looking at changing turbidity, so cloudiness, potentially changing pH, changing colour or loss of mass, maybe something slightly different. And then to go with that, I'd like you to come down with all of your collision theory, all of your kinetics, so the, um, the theory behind how temperature affects the rate of action, how surface area affects the rate of action. Can you write a nice six mark answer on that? And then linking that through, because some of these reactions might be endothermic or exothermic, so you're looking at all of those, understanding those, the practical, and can you draw the reaction profiles for those and label all the bits on there and then label and explain the effect that a catalyst has. So I'd like you to look at nanotechnology. Um, this really, really lovely area for a six mark question, but there's also some maths involved in nanotechnology potentially as well. Really, really understanding the differences between your groups in your periodic tables, the characteristics of group, why the, the trends that are there, and then why those trends are there. Can you explain the trends? And then the last thing that is on my list for you to look at is identifying things. So I'm um, looking at your phloem test, looking at your test for ions, and all of the different ways we can identify different things that are potentially in a mixture. So there you go, guys. That is my list. Please remember to rise absolutely everything. Um, I have written the paper for you and I've done the walkthrough of the paper for you so um, please remember that if you're stuck then you can go and have a look at those and I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I don't explain scratches. <laughs>